Japanese buyers are not interested in tactics in negotiations. They want trustworthy, reliable suppliers who won't let them down. They fear problems and cheap and cheerful isn't attractive. Being an awesome negotiator and beating the Japanese buyer in a negotiation will be a one-off affair. After we, are we after a sale or are we after a reorder? Welcome back to this weekly edition every Monday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center here in Akasaka, in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? In this show, we are looking at the critical areas for success in business in Japan. We want to help advance everyone's thinking so that we can all be at the forefront at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 140, 140, and we are talking about real world business negotiations. So So let's get going. We have many, many images of negotiations thanks to the media. It could be movie scenes of tough negotiators or reports on political negotiations with lunatic-led rogue states. Most of these representations, however, have very little relevance in the real world of business. A lot of the work done on negotiations focuses on tactics. This is completely understandable for any transactional-based negotiations. Those are usually one-off deals where there is no great likelihood of any ongoing relationship continuing between buyer and seller. This is a false flag. The aim of sales is not a sale. The aim is repeat orders. If you want to be permanently in prospecting mode, then transactional selling is fine. That gets tiring and it's tough. And you have to spend all your time hunting because you can't farm. Now, there will be some cases with buyers where that is how it rolls and there is not much you can do about it. The majority of salespeople though, are trying to strike up a lifetime relationship with the buyer so that the orders keep coming, rain, hail, or shine. The style of negotiations for this business play are completely different to the one-off transactional occasion. In this world, tactics are only partially relevant. Going one up on the buyer, getting the better of them, isn't sustainable in a continuing relationship. They remember what you did to them and they definitely don't like it. They either dump you completely as a supplier or they even it up down the road. They don't forget and they don't forgive. Technique has a role in the sense that there are certain best practices in negotiating, which we should observe the philosophical starting point, though, is key. What are we trying to do here? What is our purpose? Are we trying to build a ongoing business relationship where we become the favoured supplier or 
are we after a one-off smash and grab deal? If you highly evaluate the lifetime value of the customer, and this is your main consideration, then you will have a lot of commitment to win-win outcomes. The consideration of the communication style of the buyer is another important negotiating consideration. How we communicate with the buyer will vary. That is, if we know what we are doing. Clueless salespeople will have one default mode, the way they personally like to communicate, and that is all they have in their toolbox. Find out more, we come back from the break. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. The best seller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is the product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. Professionals understand that if the buyer is more focused, we go with them on facts, detail, evidence, testimonials, proof, etc. If they are the opposite, then we talk big picture and we don't get bogged down in the smaller details. We describe what the future success looks like. If they are conservative, self-contained and skeptical, we drop the energy level to match theirs. We don't force the pace. We spend time having a cup of tea to build the trust in the relationship. We mirror what they like. If the buyer is a time, is money, hard driving, take no prisoners type, then we don't beat around the bush. We get straight down to business. In rapid fire, we lay out the three key reasons they should buy, we get their order, and then we get out of their office pronto. With this analysis in mind, we prepare for the negotiation by analyzing the buyer's perspective. We use what we know about them and their situation to build up a picture of what they will need from the deal we are negotiating. We match that with what we can provide and we amplify the value we bring to the equation. We now set out our BATNA, our best alternative to a negotiated agreement. This is our walk away position. We have analysed the potential of this client by looking at their lifetime value as a buyer. This can have a big impact on how we see the pricing. When negotiating with a big multinational buyer, I had to take a painful hit on my pricing. I only agree to this though, because the volume in the first year was very substantial, and the understanding was that this would be repeated annually. Now, it may not become annual, who knows, but if it does, then this is a major feast of guaranteed farming that allows a better balance to all the other hunting required. In another case, I fired the buyer 
because their price requirement was too low. There was no prospect of any ongoing business and the volume was not attractive. When you believe you bring value, you enjoy inner confidence in your pricing. We all have our positioning in the market. If we want to maintain that, then we have to be prepared to reject lowball offers that damage our position and our brand. Hopefully, you don't have to do this too often because you can convince other buyers to pay the full tariff. In most cases, sales negotiating requires a holistic approach rather than a mechanical tactics driven approach. Decide what type of relationship you want with the buyer. If it is a win-win, then we are looking at trade-offs for pricing against volume and repeat business. Leave all that tricky, dicky, negotiating palaver to the fantasy world of Hollywood movie scripts. Let's negotiate in the real world. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show is here to help you succeed in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Thank you for watching this episode and remember to hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecanady.com. Awesome value, so check it out. Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how this show helped and, well, what other topics you are interested in for me to cover. Remember, I am here as a free resource to help you. So just tell me how I can help you best. You might also enjoy my other weekly shows for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. That's the podcast version. Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series. Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series. Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series and Fridays for the Japan Business Master Show and Sundays for the Japan's Top Business Interview Show. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. On Fridays I release uh, the Japan Business Mastery Show on YouTube and on Sundays I release Japan's Top Business Interviews where I interview all the top leaders about leading in Japan. Episode number 141, we're looking at new staff development challenges. Find out more about that next week. So, Yoroshiku. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up. <laughs>